It's messy. Could be one of the messiest summers in Utah State history. Eric and Jason co-host a sports radio show on 106.9 FM, The Fan in Logan. It's kind of disappointing to see just, you know, you, when Utah State ends up in national headlines, you like to see it for the right reasons. And the reason the Utah State University athletic program is making national headlines is because of shakeups in staffing. It just came out of the blue completely, uh, where hadn't heard anything from behind the scenes. There was really no indication from anywhere that this was about to happen. Four top staff members let go in the span of eight days. The first three included head football coach Blake Anderson and two other high-ranking staff members. The university released a statement saying it was because of results of a Title IX investigation. The report comes out and like that, they're fired. So it's, it's odd. Um, and I wish we knew more details. And maybe in time we will, but right now it's strange. The fourth was Executive Associate Athletic Director for Internal Affairs, Amy Crosby. The university wouldn't comment about her dismissal. Well, based on the reaction on our show, I mean, a lot of Aggie fans are just confused and upset. I spoke to people on USU's campus about this. You know, I think it's, it's one of these things that just has to kind of work through the system because, uh, uh, we do have a grievance process here on campus and I understand it'll go through that grievance process and I'm sure that you know all sides will be heard and uh, worked out at that point. To me usually I see it as it takes two to tango a lot of the times and so I think especially in a coaching staff where they're working so close together constantly uh, to build the team then it usually is going to take more than one member of the team for something to go wrong hoping it doesn't impact the athletes or programs in the long term. There's a lot of frustration and concern and um, what's, what's going to be the trust level moving forward with who's left. Um, so it's going to be a challenging couple of months for Utah State and its fans. We did hear from Deputy Athletic Director Jerry Bovey in a statement saying that he was blindsided by the decision to terminate his employment. He does believe that he reported the incident in question, so he does plan to file a grievance. We'll stay close to the story and update you as we get more details. In Logan, I am Mike Tiligubi, Fox 13 News, Utah.